for this solution we first need to remove everything except average duration per call and total duration so we want that to stay number of calls can go so I can just drag it up there total duration is going to stay I can click on here you'll see there's something called remove field so whichever way you want you can click and drag them out so that you get a much smaller pivot table we then need to create a custom subtotal on the month so here by the month so be very careful you don't click right click here you actually right click on the month we go to field settings and you'll see you can specify what the subtotal is either automatic so you'll see you've got a January total but in this case we've been asked to create a custom one and we want to have the sum the count the average the max and the min if you accidentally choose an extra one you just click on it again and it'll go away when I say OK, you'll see it listed for you. What we can do as well is change when the layout to show it in outline form. So there's a couple of ways to do it. You can either right click on here and go to field settings, and you'll see in layout and print, we have an option here to show item labels in outline form. So that's one way of doing it. Or what we could do is go up here to design you'll see the report layout and it says show in outline form when I click on it you'll see it now changes its look and feel the last thing we want to do is insert a blank line after each item so for example we want February to have a gap there we cannot insert a line like that we are not allowed to do it so you have to do it through the pivot table so I right click on January I go to field settings layout and print and you'll see there's an item here saying insert blank line after each item label. And when I say OK, you'll see it looks like that.